This is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about the Unit 4 in the uh, subject Introduction to Python Programming. So in this we are going to see about list. List is an ordered sequence of items. Values in list are called elements or items. It can be written as the list of comma separated items uh, between the square brackets. Lists, items in the list can be dif uh, different data types. So operations in the list are indexing, slicing, concatenation, repetitions, updating, membership and comparison. List slicing is an operation that extracts a subset of elements from an list and packages the, them as another list. The list methods, uh, Python provides methods that operate on list. List loops, we have three loops, uh, for loop, while loop and infinite loop. List using for loop means the for loop in Python is used to iterate over a sequence that is list, tuple, string or other iteratable objects. Iterating over a sequence is called traversal. Loop continues until we reach the last item in the sequence. The body of for loop is separated from the rest of the code using indel. List using while loop. The while loop in Python is used to iterate over a block of code as long as the test expression is true. When the condition is tested and the result is false, the loop body will be skipped and the first statement after the while loop will be executed. Indefinite loop. A loop becomes indefinite loop if the condition given never becomes false. It keeps on running. Such loops are called infinite loops. Then mutability and aliasing that is copy. Lists are mutable that can be changed. Mutability is the ability for certain types of data to be changed without entirely recreating it. An item can be changed in a list by accessing it directly as part of the assignment statement. Using the indexing operator on the left side of an assignment, one on the li list items can be updated. Then creating a copy of the list is called aliasing. When you create a copy, both the list will be having same memory location. Changes in one list will affect another list. So aliasing refers to having different names for same list values. Then cloning and list as operators. To avoid the disadvantages of copying, we are using cloning. Creating a copy of the same list of elements with two different memory locations is called cloning. Changes in one list will not affect locations of another list. Cloning is a process of making a copy of the list without modifying the original list. That is uh, slicing uh, list and copy method. In Python, arguments are passed by reference. If any changes are called or done in the parameter which refers within the function, then the changes also ref reflects back in the calling function. When a list to a function is passed, the function gets a reference to the list. Passing a list as an argument actually passes a reference to the list, not a copy of the list. Since lists are mutable, changes made to the elements referenced by the parameter change the same list that the argument is referencing. The next is a tuple. A tuple is the same as list except the set of elements is enclosed in parentheses instead of square brackets. A tuple is an immutable list that is once a tuple has been created you can't add elements to a tuple or remove elements from the tuple but tuple can be converted into list and list can. So benefits of tuple, tuples are the faster than list. If the user wants to protect the data from accidental changes, tuple can be used. Tuples can be used as a keys in dictionaries while list cannot. The operations of the tuples are indexing, slicing, concatenation, repetitions, membership, comparison to be converted into tuple. The tuple methods, tuple is immutable so changes cannot be, cannot be done on the elements of a tuple once it assigned. Tuple assignment allows variables on the left of an assignment operator and values of the tuple on, on the right of the assignment operator. Multiple assignment works by creating a tuple of expressions from the right hand side so uh, and a tuple of targets from the left and then matching expression to a target because multiple assignments use tuples to work it is often termed tuple assignment uses of tuple assignments it is often useful to swap the values of two variables tuple as return variable sorry value a value a tuple is a comma separated sequence of items it is created with or without bracket a function can return one value if you want to return more than one value from function 
we can use tuple as return values the next is the dictionary dictionary is an unordered collection of elements an element in dictionary has a key value pair all elements in dictionary are placed inside the curly braces elements in the dictionaries are accessed via keys and not by their position the values of dictionary can be any data type keys must be immutable data type operations on dictionaries are accessing an element update add element and membership then methods in dictionary a dot copy of a dot items a dot keys a dot values a pop set default a dot update from keys length of a clear delete so advanced list processing the list comprehension list comprehension provides a concise way to apply operations on a list it creates a new list in which each element is a result of applying a given operation in a list it consists of brackets containing an expression followed by a for class then a list the list com comprehension always returns a result list thank you